Welcome back to the Earth Chair Project. Today I'm going to talk about the materials that are going into this chair. And I have five layers that I'll show you in, as they're layered here. We have the jute burlap on the bottom, wool carpet pad, a latex foam, cotton batting, and this top layer is the only layer that is, that is synthetic. It is uh, polyester batting, and I'll explain why that is the case in a second, and when I get to it. The first layer on the bottom, about right above the springs, is jute burlap, and I'll just show you that real kind of quick here. That's the jute burlap. It's sort of almost see-through. The second layer that is right above the jute burlap, I use a really heavy-duty wool carpet pad. It's all wool, three-eighths of an inch thick, and I get this at Green Building Supply. So that keeps uh, the springs from damaging the foam to have that layer in between the, the burlap and the foam. Next layer is one inch latex foam. Extra, extra firm is what I have on this one. And on top of that, and this is all the seat layers. On top of that is cotton batting, organic cotton batting. And this looks really thick, but it will really squish down when you put the fabric on it. And with use. And on top of that is, this is three quarter ounce, polyester batting. Normally I would use wool batting. The reason I used polyester batting on just the seat portion was I have uh, my student Elmira was doing this project for me, the seat part and the arms and what you see here. And we didn't have enough wool batting at that time to for all the students in the class and since this was my project I opted to uh, use the polyester just on the seat. I do have enough for the back and the arms and I'm going to show you those layers next. So I've got all these pieces cut out. This is the cotton batting. On the back here I have the jute webbing that I showed you. I'll turn it around in a sec to show you. The jute burlap, the carpet padding, and the one inch latex. On top of that is going to go this cotton batting. And to finish, right underneath the cover fabric, actually we're gonna have ticking fabric. But on top of that is wool batting, natural wool batting. The ticking fabric is a really tight weave fabric that prevents the wool fibers from migrating through the cover fabric to the surface of, and causing pilling and stuff like that. So this goes on top of the wool batting. And you'll see that process as it's going to be time lapse, I think, but you'll see how that goes as we go along. I also have, I'm just gonna do a layer of wool batting over this carpet pad that is on the arms. And you can see where I left the cardboard and that just keeps, keeps that nice and stable, that layer there of the padding. On top of the wool batting, I'll have the ticking fabric and then the cover fabric. I'll just show you This is the jute webbing that I think I showed you in the last video and the burlap, which is covered by the carpet pad and the latex foam. I'm gonna show you these layers the way I would normally do them in an all natural chair. So it's just the same five layers except 
for the top layer, instead of being polyester, it is the wool. And you'll see on this wool, it has this thin backing, which not all wools come with this backing, but it's really nice. It's a wool, it's made of wool, it's spun, and you can staple it carefully. It, it does rip, but it's pretty strong for being so thin. If you don't have a wool that has that backing, I recommend, so this wool does not come with the backing. I recommend a gauze-like fabric. This is an organic gauze fabric. And it just, it's just, it provides the same ability to staple it and just keeps the wool from sticking to everything as you're working with it. So that's two options for the wool batting. So that's a quick rundown of the materials we're using in our Earth Day upholstery project. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to catch the rest of the videos in this series.